Let's hear what Sheikh Abdullah Bayoumi has to say from the authoritative Al Azhar Mosque in Egypt. لأن صوت المرأة زي ما إحنا عارفين يعتبر ك بالنسبة للإسلام يعني إحنا بنقول هنا في قراءة القرآن طبعاً صوت المرأة عورة صوت المرأة عورة. So that's the authoritative voice of, a, of a, a religious leader from Al-Azhar. And it should be pointed out that not everybody would agree with him, even in Egypt. But he says, you know, the voice of a woman is, um, is Aura. The influential Arab feminist writer and professor at Harvard Divinity School, Leila Ahmed, des defines the term Aura as shameful and defective things. Its meanings include blind in one eye, blemished, defective, the genital, the genital area, generally parts of the body that are shameful and must be concealed, women's bodies, women's voices, and women. But when I queried Indonesians in the business of religion about the power and potential danger of women's voices, I was repeatedly told that a woman's voice is biasa saja, just regular. Here is an example of the female voice in Indonesia. In this clip, Maria Ulfa, who, you, who I mentioned before, my uh, major colleague, um, she's teaching Quranic recitation to female and male students at her Pondok Pesantren, her religious boarding school. You can hear everybody is practicing right behind her, and she's saying, you know, you have to go, yeah, yeah. Don't go, don't, don't just go, yeah. That's boring, right? You have to go, yeah, yeah. And she's demonstrating this little ornament. Why Islam in Indonesia, and why Islamic musical arts? The rich variety of Islamic arts in Indonesia should not be a surprise given the country's demographics. Some believe Indonesia's overall uh, overall approach to religion, and when I say some, I mean scholars and lay people. Uh, believe Indonesia's overall approach to religion and democracy should serve as a model for other Muslim countries or countries with Muslim majority populations in the Islamic world. Although they're sympathetic to Muslims worldwide, Indonesians are perplexed about conflict everywhere else in the global ummah, in the global uh, Muslim community, and they want to keep such business out of Indonesia. As one of my acquaintances said last year, we wonder why Muhammad wasn't born here in Indonesia.